Welcome back. It is the Burns and Gambo show here on Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Big day for the Coyotes coming up next week. We'll talk about it in a moment, but also a big time for the Coyotes right now with the election in Tempe and the future of the Coyotes on the line with that. And joining us here on the Burns and Gambo show, the president and CEO of the Coyotes, Javier Gutierrez here on Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Javier, welcome to the show again, man. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Burns and Gamble, thanks so much for having me. And, yep, big month this month for the Coyotes here in Arizona. Yeah, Javier, we've heard a lot of uh, endorsements coming through for the project Tempe Wins. And uh, tell me a little bit about that, because I know you've got a lot of support behind the project. Absolutely. You know, we are so uh, honored to have such a broad coalition of support. It starts with this uh, uh, Tempe City Council, you know, 7-0 unanimous approval. They approved our development agreement our zoning and our entitlements. And then we took it to the voters. And in the course of this campaign, we've established a incredible amount of support. You know, we have Tempe firefighters supporting us. We have union leaders, the carpenters, the IVW, the painters. Uh, you have the Tempe Chamber, Tempe be tourism, not least of which should also point out the fact that we have the four former mayors, Hugh Coleman, Neil Giuliano, Harry and Mark Mitchell, countless of, of council members. And if what we've said over and over again, and this is the right deal, this is the right project, and we're the right team to execute on. And it's going to bring jobs. It's going to bring uh, revenue for the city. It's going to clean up this city-owned landfill that has sat there for 70 years, and Tempe taxpayers don't have to pay for it. And that's why you see this in incredibly broad coalition and we're very, very honored by that level of support. And as we've shared over and over again, even if you don't believe us, believe your city leaders, Tempe. Believe these former elected officials, these current elected officials, these civic and nonprofit and academic leaders who all know this is exactly what is good for Tempe. Well, I know the NHL playoffs are going on right now. It's been fascinating. Seattle taking out Colorado. The Devils taking out the Rangers. I mean, the Bruins getting beat by the Florida Panthers and Matthew could shock. I mean, so much excitement going on. But we had the, the commissioner, Gary Bettman, in town just a few weeks ago, but, you know, throwing his support behind this project. Absolutely. You know, uh, Commissioner Bettman has just been a steadfast uh, supporter of not only the organization, but of this ownership of Alex Morello and this vision that we have to turn this landfill into this landmark. And you've seen him here a couple of times. You saw him here at, uh, in November uh, at the public hearing where the Tempe City Council again had a unanimous 7-0 approval of the project. And he was here again a couple of weeks back, uh, again at a, a press conference that we had that showed this broad coalition in which he reaffirmed the NHL's commitment to this market, to being here in Arizona, to understanding this is a hockey town. And what this uh, project will help do is really stabilize this organization and, and solve the, the arena challenge that it's had for so many years. And we just are so thankful for his support. Uh, Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly has also been here every single visit, and um, they have made it very clear they want the NHL here to stay permanently, and they see this as the opportunity to make that happen. Javier Gutierrez, our guest here on the Burns and Gambo Show. All right, so update our listeners kind of on the process and where things stand right now, because I know the vote has started. Obviously, this is not a walk-up-and-vote kind of situation. It's all being done by mail. So when did it start, and when does it end, and what? do people need to do who live in Tempe who have the eligibility to vote on this, Javier? No, it's a good question. So, yes, you are correct. It's a special election, mail-in only. Uh, Tempe voters have ballots already, so we're asking them to vote yes on propositions 301, 302, 303, and mail in their ballots. Their ballots, we are encouraging people to mail in by May 9th because they have to be received in order to be counted by May 16th. You already have approximately 16,000 folks who have voted, and we want every voice counted. We want every ballot counted, and so we're really encouraging people, again, to get out, to fill up your ballot ballot to um, mail it in and to obviously vote yes on propositions 301, 302, and 303. We asked Commissioner Bettman about this, and, and I would imagine you'd be in a better position to answer it. Are you getting any real-time updates on how things are going so far with the election, Javier? 
Well, we did a significant amount of polling leading up to folks having their ballots. And from that, you extrapolate uh, who has voted. So we don't get any yes or no uh, determinations, but we do get determinations from the uh, recorders, from Maricopa County recorder as to who's voted, you know, who's been registered and uh, where where the locations of the individuals are that, uh, that have voted. So from that, we're extrapolating given our polling. And again, we've all always felt very confident that as people have learned about this project and this deal, the fact that it will be the first privately funded sports and entertainment district in the history of Arizona. And you actually just saw today the Arizona Republic uh, front page just pointing out that all of our experts and all of the city's experts have shown that one of the major concerns of traffic actually is not as big a concern uh, given the mitigation that we have been uh, committed to paying for. And so it just, again, shows you this is the right project, this is the right deal, we're the right team, and we're starting to see ballots come in, but we really need every voter in Tempe, please mail in your ballot, please try to mail it in by May 9th, and please obviously vote yes on Propositions 301, 302, and 303. Javi, I've been here since 90, 1997, so I've been around all the votes for all the teams and stadiums and arenas, and you know, we've talked about this before. These votes tend to be very, very close, so I would imagine you know that's one of the messages that, like, Every vote may matter because these votes tend to be very close. Absolutely. No, uh, Gamble, you're exactly right. You've seen these votes in the past. And in general, you know, we want everyone's voice, every vote to count. And so we're asking voters, please mail in your ballot. This is very important for the future of Tempe. This is a best in class urban redevelopment project. It's taking a city owned landfill and creating jobs and creating revenue that the city needs for public services and creating this landmark. You're talking about hotels, shops, restaurants, uh, theater, in addition to obviously being the permanent home of the Arizona Coyotes and a state of the art uh, hockey arena and live events venue. And so yes, every vote matters. Please, please, if you're a Tempe registered voter, please vote and again, please vote Yes, on propositions 301, 302, and 303. Last one from us, Javier. Let's talk about the hockey team real quick. Big day next week with the draft lottery. Uh, are, are you, who's the lucky charm for you? You got your fingers crossed, your lucky rabbit foot, whatever it is that it takes to get this thing done for you guys? Absolutely. All the above. The answer is E, all of the above. Gambo's yeah, a good lucky charm I, if you need to take him. Just He's, take me. I've got the, what do you call it, not the semi-charmed kind of life? Oh, you have a fully charmed kind of life, I got a life, fully Gambo. charmed fully kind charmed of life. Kind of you life. should just yes. bring me. There's nothing semi-charmed about it. You, you should know, take Gambo. I'll, I'll bring it up with Alex. I'll bring it up with Alex Morello. Maybe we'll get you on the plane out there to uh, to New Jersey for the uh, for the bouncing balls. But listen, it's, it's going to be an important day. Obviously, we have two picks in the lottery. We hope that our number six pick can possibly move up. Uh, this is a historic uh, draft, and you've heard this over and over again. Uh, clearly, the the potential number one overall pick is a transcendent talent, but actually, it's a very deep draft, and that's something we're excited about. We've said this from the beginning. We want to build a sustainable winner. We want to bring a Stanley Cup, and we think that the way to do it is clearly through the draft. We have invested in you know one of the largest scouting departments in the NHL. Bill Armstrong, as our GM, has really, really invested in, in the scouting and the player development, and it starts, obviously, with, uh, with the draft assets. Uh, we're excited. Uh, so, you know, the draft lottery is going to be another big, important day. So, again, very consequential month for uh, for the Coyotes' future, and, and we're very excited about it. And we know our fans and our fans in waiting uh, are all also very excited about it. Javier, we appreciate the time as always. Thank you for coming on for a few, okay? Hey, guys, thank you so much, and go Yotes. Thanks, Javier. Thanks, Javier. Appreciate it.